This is Kelly Hill, Executive Editor for RCR Wireless News. I'm here today with Shahar Milman, who is VP of Deve Business Development at Galuli. And he's going to give us some background on the company and uh, tell us a little bit more about, their, what, about what they're doing. How are you, Shahar? Hi, Kelly. I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Good. Thanks for joining us today. So you. you folks are a leading innovator in remote energy and remote energy savings. Um, can you give us some background on the company? Yeah, definitely. Um, thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, first of all, we're operating, Galuli operates in the market of global industrial IoT. This is actually a huge, tremendous market, uh, which is expected to reach about $750 billion by 2025. And it's uh, growing uh, dramatically year by year at about 20% CAGR. Um, according to the Gartner uh, research, um, we are actually heading to the tipping point of where lack of data scientists um, and, and is, is, is data science specialists will prevent three-fourths three of uh, all businesses from maximizing their IoT goals. So luckily we have, uh, you know, our data scientist and Galuli operates in connected uh, in, in both stationary and mobile assets worldwide um, to an AI powered SaaS solution. So um, we definitely are in the, in the market of the IoT, um, industrial IoT, uh, and we operate in three different verticals. So the first vertical would be the energy efficiency solutions uh, and their infrastructure is provider. That would be telecommunication sites, um, rectifier, batteries, uh, generators, aviation lights. The second, the second, the second uh, vertical that we operate in are the batteries. So we, we have solutions for remote management solutions for batteries. We work directly with OEMs and distributors. Um, and we supply data management solutions for batteries and anti-theft solutions as well. And lastly is the fleet mobility. So basically, we, we work on, on product development to uh, EV, EV, EV solutions of, of, um, of uh, EV cars, uh, forklifts, and fleet mobility. So Shahar, you've given us some good context on the, uh, the place and the context of Galuli and the ecosystem. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what services you bring to the table? Sure, definitely. Uh, Galuli, Galuli helped the users to increase their operational saving, uh, savings and uh, efficiencies and the revenue. Uh, we use AI analytics based on real data evidence that we, we, we collect from the assets that we're connected to. And for over a decade, we ensure that remote assets will always perform in the most optimal way for our customer. Now, 2020 showed us how crucial it is to have remote monitoring solutions on, on sites, uh, not only for, you know, for day-to-day day -day basis um, where we work from home and we need to monitor stuff at our workplace, uh, also definitely remote sites, which uh, in some cases in the pandemic you cannot access and, and gain access to. But uh, this shows us that also in, in we had a, a situation in California, if we take, for example, um, the, the devastating uh, deadly fires that we had in California, uh, which left so many residents without evacuation alerts. Um, that's the reason why California government has required all wireless carriers serving high risk wildfires areas to provide 72 hour backup uh, power. Um, and, and this is exactly uh, the solution where we are monitoring remotely and we're able to understand the assets uh, value and the assets, uh, um, the exact uh, monitoring of the assets in real, real time. Definitely something that's a timely need in the industry right now. Um, so you folks yeah, are, are clearly well positioned uh, in, in telecom services. You also work with, uh, with companies like American Tower, I believe. Um, you also have some battery, industrial battery OEM collaborations. Uh, I think FIAM and uh, Incel, which is now Polarium. Um, perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about that. 
you are absolutely right. So our our telecom services are supported by a long term relationship with a telecom giant, as you mentioned, uh, and we service thousands of sites uh, with full monitoring services uh, to different telecom providers. Um, we have proven use cases of millions of dollars of fuel consumption reduction and energy optimization, and, and this translates directly to carbon footprint reduction and and carbon credits, which is dramatic for 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 our um, planet and, and uh, uh, smart, uh, smart energy metering that we also do uh, to support customer billing accuracy. Um, another use cases that we do is tower light mal malfunctioning and data center controls. So all that accumulates basically um, to energy cost effective uh, efficiency and, and translates to, to the um, uh, carbon footprint, which a lot of companies are, are looking into it uh, uh, those days. Um, as, as you mentioned, uh, uh, regarding the OEMs and the batteries, we do have state-of-the-art patent battery data monitoring solution and GPS um, tracking devices. So we work with lithium ion batteries, OEMs, and lead acid batteries. Uh, we work directly uh, with OEMs and we partnership with some of them, with some of the largest leading OEM in the world. Um, and this is a great uh, product and opportunity for us in, in this uh, data monitoring uh, energy saving um, market. And I think the uniqueness uh, of, of Galulio, what we do is basically is the AI analytics and, and the active control that we're able to give to our customer. And also a user-friendly multi uh, vertical and, and one cross platform solution or software that the customer gains. So basically all that I mentioned, uh, it's very easy for a customer to use our system, have all the multifunction uh, verticals on one, one, one main platform to work on. Okay. Wonderful. Well, that all sounds really timely for, for needs in the industry right now. Uh, and thank you for giving us the time and the insights today. We appreciate your time, Shahar. I appreciate the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you.